Well, guys, medical tyranny took a bit of a bitch slap yesterday, as did GMB for trying to push it, but what's even better, it took just a few hours for it to happen. As you might know, I posted on my community page earlier that Good Morning Britain put out a poll pushing for compulsory medical treatment, because these paid-for puppets are as bad as the government and BBC. In fact, I would say ITV now go above and beyond the BBC because this is twice in 24 hours that an ITV programme has been caught out. As some would have seen, I posted a video last night showing Dr Shillery Jones lying about unjabbed hospitalisation figures alongside Lorraine Kelly on her show. They quoted 90% when the real figure is 36% unjabbed in hospital with the Rona. This is according to the government's own data as I showed in that video. But back to this failed poll here and the clear support for medical tyranny. Now obviously we know Good Morning Britain are some of the lowest bottom feeding pond scum that this world has ever shout out. But putting out a poll then finding out the public don't support it and deleting it has got to be peak stupidity even for them. I mean did they really think that people wouldn't notice it or what? At the end of the day, the poll was always going to go that way because even the double and triple jabbed will stop short of compulsory medical treatments. Of course, there'll be a few lunatics out there, but they are like Ramona's from 2019, loud online but silent everywhere else when it matters. As I've said before, most people do have some common sense to at least see the slippery slope that it could lead us down. If they can mandate one medical treatment, they can mandate another, let me tell you. Just imagine the government decides it needs your kidney to protect public health. I bet ITV shit weasels won't be so enthusiastic about it then if it was them. But I've got to say Good Morning Britain might have actually done more damage to the narrative themselves by deleting the tweet because I wouldn't have known about it if they didn't and I expect many more never would. Plus deleting it as you know makes it look like they've got an agenda to push which we already knew they do but the people who watch them likely don't. Now as you can see, a bunch of people have called them out on Twitter for this, but in what will surprise no one, our mainstream media have essentially avoided talking about it. This is as far as I can tell. They are quick to push YouGov polls that say 70% of the heavily vetted respondents support this and that, but silent when the public actually has their say. Now obviously, Twitter ain't the entire public, but 45,000 is a lot more than the 1,000 typically questioned by YouGov and these other piss-poor polling companies. Plus, let's be honest, YouGov being founded by the former vaccine minister Nadim Zahawi gives anything it claims the credibility of Matt Hancock, so essentially none. But the only place I can really find talking about it is RT as our mainstream media is as corrupt as they come and in constant damage control mode because they talk endless shit. Now obviously this poll really didn't go very well and it certainly didn't go how they wanted but questions need to be asked about who told them to take it down. Was it the government who told them to or likely some vested interest that don't want people to know the public does not support medical tyranny? Either way, it shows the level of scum we're dealing with here in the media.